Hi, my name is Alex Feisley, and today I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of how to upgrade your NetMaker server to Enterprise from Community. So for those of you unfamiliar with NetMaker, it is a WireGuard virtual network management platform. So it allows you to create very complex networks. Think of it kind of like a VPC that you can use on any number of distributed devices or clouds or IoT devices. So over here we have a server that we deployed using the NM Quick script from the README. And we're going to take it and upgrade to Enterprise. So our Enterprise, which is currently in beta, has a pretty generous free tier. So it's pretty easy to get set up with and most users should be able to use it for at least personal usage and for POCs at businesses. So if you go to docs.netmaker.org slash ee it'll bring you to that enterprise documentation. Now the first thing is the notes on free tier. So these are your limits when you do a free tier license and that's what we're going to be working with here. Now, to create a license, you go to dashboard.license.netmaker.io. So you just go ahead and click that and log in. And when you log in, you are going to get a few options here. So you can purchase a license, you can contact us with questions, uh, look at your payment history, and what we're concerned about is the license keys. But first, let's just take a look at the pl plans here. So you can buy a paid subscription here. Uh, if you have more advanced needs, you can contact us for more of an enterprise plan, or you can go with the free tier, which is what we're going to use for now. So it does come with a free tier license, and here we have a license key that we're going to go ahead and apply. So I'm going to copy that and bring it over to my NetMaker server. So we go to our Docker Compose, and we need to add two fields. And just to reference it, let's take a look at the docs again. And if we open that up, we can see how we need to set up the server. So down here we have two fields, license key and NetMaker account ID. So first off, let's put in that license key. And if we go ahead and paste there, I guess I'll need to copy that, huh? Let's go back here and copy that license key. And then we need the account ID. So for the account ID, we'll just go over here, look at my account, and grab that. Okay, and that's really it. So now we can go ahead and run, oh, one more quick change. So up here, the image is currently Gravital NetMaker and the version number. We're just gonna add dash EE onto that so that we're using the enterprise image. Then we'll run Docker Compose up. And we'll be running the front end image will be able to detect whether we're running pro or community so it'll use the right one automatically and other than that we'll be good to go so yeah notice here we don't have a metrics panel and our users panel is actually going to be missing some of the regular features that we're looking for uh, in the enterprise version so let's go ahead and see that yep it's been recreated let's make sure everything's running okay looks like it is and we can see that pro logo which tells us we're running with pro and let's see sometimes even a refresh does it and yeah there we have it so we now have some of these advanced features so a couple of these are metrics and users with a couple new ones on the way including automated fallback for nodes so we'll do a tutorial on that when that's out probably next week but yeah, so a couple features are, for instance, the creation of user groups um, and also adding user permissions on particular networks. 
so yeah and then on the metric side we have reporting metrics so you can see for instance what the uptime is against particular nodes the latency and things like that so this also allows you to log in as users to a system um, and we'll do a different tutorial on how these actually work, but I just wanted to show you quickly that those are in here. Um, we'll, we'll do different tutorials. I'm trying to break these up a little bit more. Um, and so we'll have a metrics walkthrough and a user's walkthrough. This is just on getting set up. Now, one other thing I want to note, because that was pretty easy there, but we could add some additional things, in particular for Prometheus and Grafana. So if we want to set up Prometheus and Grafana, we need to make a few more changes. So one is adding the metrics exporter to our Docker Compose. And then in MQ, we need to add a mount for mosquito passwords. So this is how the exporter is going to get data from MQ. So we go down here, we add this mount. Okay, and since we've done that, we obviously need the mosquito passwords file and we need an updated comp file, both of which are in here. So we can just wget those. Actually, we've already done that before, so it's in there. And then we need the config file. So we w get that. Oh, yeah, and we're going to move that new file to our regular comp file. Okay, so Mosquito is set up. NetMaker is set up, and then we actually need to add Prometheus and Grafana and our exporter to the Docker Compose. So if we look here at the Docker Compose, we can actually just go ahead and grab that whole section, which is at the bottom. So here we have Prometheus, we have Grafana, and we have the NetMaker exporter. So you can get all this stuff. And we're going to have some new volumes as well, so we can just pull out that volume section. So we're just going to paste this down here. Okay, and again, none of this is necessary if you don't need Prometheus and Grafana or you don't want it. Now, we do also need to change that base domain. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and that should be enough to do it. So let's go ahead and Docker Compose up again. So we should see it's creating a couple new containers. Uh, it should be creating the NetMaker exporter. It should be creating Prometheus, and it should be creating Grafana. So let's look at our logs once more. OK, we're running. MQ seems to be running just fine. Okay, looks like we connected to the broker, we connected to Prometheus. And then let's make sure Prometheus is running. Okay. So with all that, we should be able to visit both Prometheus and Grafana here. So let's check that out. And it does actually take about five minutes to start getting those metrics exported. So we're not expecting to see that immediately. 
but we at least see we have Prometheus set up. And let's check out Grafana. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now we have data exporting via Prometheus to Grafana. And again, this will take a little bit to start populating, but yeah, that's about all we need for now. And actually, we get a cool little graph here, so I guess some of that data is starting to come out. Yeah. And that's really it for upgrading from Community Enterprise. And one more thing worth noting is you can just downgrade at any time if you don't want to use the paid license. So if you want to try out the free tier and switch back to Community, that's totally fine. So we can just go into our Docker Compose, just delete that whole section, delete our license key and NetMaker account ID, and then we're all set. So that's really it. Uh, so thank you for watching this quick tutorial, and we'll work to have some more tutorials out shortly. Again, head to Gravital NetMaker on GitHub, or head to dashboard.license.netmaker.io to get your license. And of course, docs.netmaker.org always has a good amount of data on it. So thanks for watching. Bye.